Hello and welcome to SGN Tech Forum. Last week, I demoed Cisco Modeling Lab, which is an on-prem network simulator. Today, I'm going to introduce NVIDIA Air, which is a SaaS-based infrastructure simulation platform. So to get started with NVIDIA Air, you can go to air.nvidia.com and then you can sign up using your business email or work email. Gmail based e subscription is not allowed. So go ahead, put your work email, and then you will be logged in upon email authentication. You will be logged in to Air Infrastructure Simulation Platform. And this is the home page if you have when you log in first time. That means you have no simulation running. From here, Let's quickly see. You can search simulations. And here on the left side, you can see we have the drop downs like simulation, documentation, and learning, all kind of like a user guide. And if you are not familiar about Cumulus Linux, NVIDIA Sonic uh, uh, or Sonic OS, and all those things, you can read about it here. We have setting. Within setting, we are going to explore SSH keys and API, and also you can report an issue, like provide a feedback. So let's get started with the first simulation. You can either click cre create a simulation here, or you can click, if you are logged in first time, you can say build a simulation. Here you can see we have two options, like build your own and demo marketplace. So let's first take a look at demo marketplace and see what all pre-built simulations are available we'll work with one of the demo marketplace simulation because it's easiest way to get some hands-on experience with nvidia and then we will build our own simulation a very small topology so this is a pre-built demo you can see all the descriptions here and feature and services the complete demo guide you can read about it here so if you are convinced that this is the lab you want, go ahead and say launch. Behind the scene, it is actually uh, triggering a Ansible playbook. Simulation is loading. While our simulation is ready, let's um, read through the quick start guide. As you can see, supported browser, Google Chrome or Firefox. And then once you log in, we have already logged in. You can see all those tabs. We already discussed about that, build a simulation, and we have find a simulation in demo marketplace. And from there, it is actually loading as we speak. Once our simulation is load loaded, we can look at all these basic view and advanced views, etc. What I want to show you is something like this that what is the user allocation quota allocation the number of simulation resources a user can consume is limited to each user's account so there are multiple type of user account individual user account and organization user account and nvidia user account i'm assuming you are an outsider so it will be a individual user account and you can see we you have been allocated for 60 vcpus 19 gb of memory and 650 gb storage for running simulation so you are limited to all this resources that mean though you have 90 gb of memory and 60 vcpu that doesn't mean that you can create 10 simulation but you can you are capped to four simulation but at the same time you can run four simulation which are heavy on resources because nvidia generously give you a lot of resources here and then if you want to read more about cumulus uh, linux you can uh, find the documentation and read it here we have some pre-built demos here you can see we have some pre-built demos which talk about like how they are connected and how they are configured etc etc so let's go back and see if our simulation is ready yes you can see sonic bgp evp and vxlan this is the simulation we loaded it expires in 14 days and right now it's 11 hour or roughly 12 hour of allocated time but don't worry you can come here and add time so go ahead and say add time so you can add all 
the way to till 14 days not at the same time but slowly right now you can see we have 23 hour 53 minute that time and see if we can add some more yes one day one hour so you can go all the way to 14 hours 14 days okay here you can see the advanced view button is already toggled if you untoggle it this is the basic view where we have the guided tour that means the complete lab demo or documentation scenario discussion and you can see we have one of 11 that means this lab has 11 pages of instruction let's talk about how uh, the technology how the lab is con uh, configured what are the username and credentials how they are connected like interface connection ip addresses everything you can see demo environment access what will be the username and password and all kind of thing you can see okay let me just copy this because we will be logging to one of the spine and leaf and we will need that username and password so let me just copy this all right so let's go ahead and uh, look at the second pane in the basic view node click a node to open its console so if you want to log in to the you can just simply click and log in or you can open it in a new page like this I'm going to move it here and close this all right as you can see we have all these things here let's go back and toggle advanced view when you are in advanced view you have four uh, windows first is guided tour and then the nodes here you can see we have all the nodes you can click on view topology to see the topology at a whole and then we have the console and the by default you are connected to oob management server logins ubuntu nvi dia right so here you are connected to the outbound management from here you can log into individual nodes simply say ssh leaf 01 and then you need to know the password We need to say SSH admin at leaf zero one, and then let's use the password here. That's your password. Here you can see I'm logged in to my switch. I can run all sort of short of commands. So if you're new to Cumulus. You have to do a little bit of reading. This is my show version. Show all those things you can check from here. And then finally, services. So you can enable SSH services. That means you can enable SSH and you can SSH to outbound switch or outbound console from your local machine. That's what you can do. So you don't have to stick to this all the time you can actually ssh to that so i'm going to go ahead and say enable ssh the ssh service has been enabled but your account does not currently have any ssh keys so we need to provide a ssh key of a jump host or pc from where you are going to access this simulation so let's do that as you can see enter the public ssh key commonly located at your ssh directory and make sure you only upload the pub key not the private key so i have my pub key ready here let me go ahead and copy and it is totally safe to display your pub key i'm going to add this let's go back to simulation here this is our simulation and you can see we have the services the sss services available or loaded now i'm going to copy this and 
go to mine. As you can see, the only thing I have changed is hyphen I, that is identity, and I'm asking them to use my private key here, private key, which is a key pair from the public key I uploaded to NVIDIA Air. And by doing that, you can see I'm logged into the same out of band management server. And from here, I can do the same thing what I could do from simulation. However, we are not going to log in. So let's go back to our simulation. This is all pretty much I wanted to show you from a pre built simulation. What else we can do? We can actually go ahead and say create simulation. And we are going to build our own simulation. So let's click on build our own. Here you can upload a topology. Already have a topology from dot format. You can upload it and it will create a simulation for you. However, you can do a drag and drop kind of thing. Create your own. And this will open up a new window. Here you can see on the left side we have four different types of node. Cumulus, Ubuntu, Sonic and regular node. So let's bring one Cumulus. Let's bring one Sonic. And the reason you can see the ETH0, this is actually your out of band connection. So if you don't want the out of band connection for to this simulation, you can turn this off. And by doing that, you see you don't have a ETH0. However, if you want a external connectivity, go ahead and enable OOP. Now, how you can connect this? Connection is easy. Just click to one interface and go to other interface and by doing that you can see it is already connected however if i want to connect from ubuntu to sonic how i can do that because we have only one interface so either i can connect here or here but that's not the case so what you can do you can go ahead and you can add port to your nodes you can see eth0 is reserved for out of band management so let's not um, uh, worry about that we want one more port or two more port you can add multiple ports as you can see like i want 10 port but let me tell i want three ports here and now i have three ports so what i can do i can connect either okay here also we need more ports so i'm going to say multiple port give me three ports so by default you get one but obviously, if you are creating some kind of topology, then you need more than one port. So I'm going to go ahead and say connect it like this. For Sonic, also, we are going to add more ports. I'm going to say multiple port. Give me three ports. And from here, swap three can go to ETH2. And like that, we have built a topology, three node topology with Cumulus, Sonic, and Ubuntu, three different variety. You can also use node if you want and at this point of time we are good either you can export the topology or this is exported as dot file so that you can import it in future if you want and you can also go ahead and start the simulation and again starting the simulation will take some time just like how we loaded uh, the marketplace simulation but this is a simple topology so it should not uh, take that long. This is how you can actually start build your simulation, start your simulation, and the same way you can connect to nodes and start configuring. Very quickly, you can see we have our topology created. We are already logged into the out of band management server, and this is created deep by default. So from here, you can log into your uh, individual nodes. One thing. Uh, the note here is we have already talked about enable SSH. So you want to access all these devices from outside network. You need to go ahead and say enable SSH. This is a service. The service is created. You see there is a different num port number. You can use this information. Just copy it from here, and you can log in here from your workstation, and you will be connected to out of band management server. From out of band management server, you can log into individual nodes. What I want to show you one quick important thing is NetQ. NetQ is 
actionable insight and operational intelligence about the health of your data center that means your simulation or the topology what you created it give you a nice statistics about that and you can see we have our username and password created i'm going to copy this for a moment and you can do a little bit reading about netq in your own time it's very interesting tool I want to just keep it handy here. Let's go ahead and say launch. So right now you can see we have no devices running NetQ agent because the topology what we built, we don't we didn't have any NetQ agent enabled in that. But as you start working with your at the various topology please go ahead and install netq agent this netq uh, is a little bit new to me also i need to do a little bit research to understand more about it but this is what i wanted to share with you you have a saas based platform with amazing resource quota available at your disposal so that you can learn something new and exciting i hope you like the video please go ahead like share and subscribe and I'll see you in next video. Thank you.